What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been a minute, right? Hey, that, that, that. You know, we talked about it before. Try not to do that when I'm talking, man. Right at the beginning of the show, it just it drives me crazy. Okay. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, today is an exciting day. Uh, we're going to check out this very first DIY. Uh, let's see if we can get it situated here. DIY kit from Fessley Guitars. Uh, this is their, this is a Stratocaster type build. Um, I got one that's already, like, you know, finished as far as, like, you know, naturally it's not going to be finished. That'd be an awful small guitar in there. <laughs> but uh, what I mean is, you know, the work is done as far as, like, uh, finish work. So this is a sunburst color, tobacco burst, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, get the upstairs guy. The upstairs guy. Let's go ahead and get the upstairs guy. Where'd he at? Okay, okay. All right, okay. Well, uh, where are we at? Right there, right there. Ah. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, all right, we good now? All right, so there it is. Uh, anyway, let's see if I can uh, go ahead and take this, uh, this tape off of here. We'll just flip this right open. There it is. Look at that. Eh? <laughs> well, right off the bat, my God, they give you a book. And I mean, this thing is thick. Look, look at this. Look, look how thick that is. Holy crap. Uh, okay. So this book is pretty cool. It kind of lays out everything. These are your different colors. Um, looking back at it now, I wish I would have gotten a black. But this is what we're working with today uh, as far as what I got. Um, but yeah, they, it goes through everything, man. Uh, I'll tell you right now, if you are interested in this at all, yeah, man. I mean, they go through it all, man. They got all kinds of different guitars here. This is a really nice book. This is probably like a one-time book. I don't know. I'm sure it comes with all of them, but uh, that's pretty freaking awesome, man. It lays everything out pretty nice. What do, what do we want to start with? Let's, let's start with the obvious. Let's start with the, let's start with the neck. Let's start with the neck. Because, uh, you know, it seems to be one of the biggest things. Uh, you know, we want to try to... You know, if the neck is in good shape, then the rest of it should be in good shape. So let's go ahead and... Uh, got it. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty thin guitar pick, by the way. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's, let's uh, take a look at this neck here. See what we got. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, let's get this out of here. Well, there you go. There you go. Holy crap. Those are really nice frets. Let's uh, let's switch to the other camera angle here. Come on. Come on! Yeah, that is that is a very nice neck, man. The frets are very awesomely done. Uh, my goodness. I mean, can't beat that at all. <laughs> that is pretty freaking cool, man. So it is a maple neck. Uh, this is a, it's called Techwood. I, man, almost looks like ebony. <laughs> Pretty dark on there. Um, feels really good. These frets are really, uh, they're not gritty or anything, so that's good. Probably just a plas plastic type nut. Let me look that up. I would probably say it's just a plastic type of nut. I don't know. It almost looks, uh, who knows? Who knows what it is, right? It's a nut. Okay, we'll go with it. Um, anyway. But yeah, very nice neck, man. Very smooth. Very nice. Uh, it's like a satin finish. So that's good. It is a bolt on, naturally. <laughs> yeah, buddy, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the body here. Ah, yep. Yeah. Upstairs guy still looking. Oh, man. Look at that. I can see right through it. That's pretty cool. No, uh, no, no secrets here. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and look at this here. See what we got. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. This is a very high gloss finish. This is very sharp. Ready? Look at this. That is very nice. All the hard work of, of, of being done is done uh, of this body. Very nice looking body. Uh, you know, naturally it's got your styrofoam on there or whatever, but but yeah, that is very nice, man. That's, I mean, that's flawless. Beautiful. Beautiful body on there. Very glossy. Man, routing is done decently well. I mean, they glossed all the inside of it. I mean, that's fine. It's, you know, I mean, what are you going to do, right? <laughs> I mean, when I do them, I always tape them off, but it's not a big deal, you know? Check that out, man. All right, guys, so let's see how the uh, neck fits into the pocket here. And that there. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, it's snug. It's not super tight, but yet you don't want it loose. It seems to be fitting well. Yeah, I think that'll be fine, man. Like I said, it's it's not a super, super tight fit, but it is, it's snug to where it's not going to come out of there. And like, it's not going to flop around on you. I didn't see any gap. Let me double check on this. Let me double check. Let's get down the pocket first, dummy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. I'm not seeing any gap whatsoever there. Really good fit as far as that goes. Um, yeah, that's going to be great. There's a kind of a sample here so far, huh? That's looking pretty nice. Okay, let's go ahead and take this neck off of here before I bang something up and really hurt something. <laughs> like myself. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get into the electronics. All right, guys, so let's get into the hardware of the DIY. Uh, go back upstairs <laughs> now. Thank you. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay, so, got it all wrapped up. I'll try to keep it in this box here if I can. Ah, got all kinds of goodies in here, okay? So, let's see what we got. We have... Here's your uh, neck plate that you'll have. I wonder if it says Fesley on it anywhere. Anywhere. Does it say Fesley? Ah, come on. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's your neck plate. Good deal. Here is your jack for the guitar cord. <laughs> All right, here's some strings. We won't need those. We're not going to put strings on that. We're not going to put those strings on it. We're going to do something else. Okay. Here's the springs. Uh, in the tree that, uh, you know, you put the back there and you hook the string, springs onto it. <laughs> Here's a very inexpensive guitar cord thingy and your uh, wiggle stick slash whammy bar plus your truss rod adjustment tool and your intonation tools are right there as well. Pretty cool. Um, you got your, let's see, your tuners. Just regular type little tuners. Kind of, I don't know, they're not bad. I mean, to get they'll get you by, uh, you know, to do the kit. So I think we'll, we'll, put a, we'll put everything on here that comes with the guitar uh, today. I think we're going to do the guitar today. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, so here's all your screws and, and, and all that stuff you need to assemble the guitar with. Pretty nice there. Here's the bridge. Uh, the block's a little light. Honestly, you're a little small, I think. Um, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's not uh, super fancy, super expensive stuff. But, you know, this kit's going to run you maybe 120 130 bucks. So, you know, to start out, um, not too bad to work with. That is a very thin uh, block. Very thin. Uh, not much weight to that at all. All right, and here is the, oh, they put the, I was like, where is the back cover? I couldn't find the back cover. Right there it is, by golly. <laughs> right there it is. Okay, just your regular old back cover there for the, cover up the uh, springs and stuff in the back. This is a string through body. Okay, and there you go. There's your, um, you know, your pick guard with your pickups, okay? Not too bad of a job here. You got your small little dime pots on there. 
as far as uh, that goes. Not a horrible thing. Um, five wage selector works pretty well. Um, yeah, the volume tone, tone configuration. All right. Huh, interesting. Okay, guys, I did not mention this is a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, let's go ahead and try to put this together in this video. I wasn't going to do that, but, uh, I think, I think we will. Um, just because, just because I can, right? I mean, even if it wasn't finished, you know, I could still do that. But once I put this together, it's done. I don't have to take it back apart. We can just hope that everything lines up really well and, uh, we're all good to go. Okay. So I'm going to get out my instruction manual here. Hang on. Okay, so looking at the instruction manual here, um, this gives you every uh, guitar type they have. This has got every instruction manual for every type of guitar that you would get. You know, you got your Tele styles, you got Les Paul styles, uh, and it just lays it all out for you. This, of course, is a Strat style. It's like 24 pages, roughly, of everything. Shows you how to intonate it, um, you know, everything you're doing. And, and if you've never done a DIY guitar... I think something like this, even for the finished type model, I think would be very awesome for you if you've never done it. Um, when I started doing DIYs, it, it kind of like opened my mind. Uh, it kind of took some of the fear out of uh, doing simple things, you know, like truss rod adjustments or, uh, you know, adjusting the pickups, things like that. It just kind of takes that fear away and, and allows you to kind of experiment, you know. Um, so this kind of gives you the in and out, you know, uh, of course with this, there's nothing really to, um, solder other than your ground wire, uh, that will probably, I assume, I think it just goes to the spring or to the, uh, oh, you know, the tree part in the back of the guitar where the springs hook onto. Uh, I haven't looked completely. I'm pretty sure that's where it would go. Um, but yeah, it just, it just opens your mind kind of gives you an idea of how the guitar goes together, um, gives you gives you more confidence. So, let's go ahead and start working on this thing and see what we can do. <laughs> All right? Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. All right, guys, so got everything kind of laid out here. Uh, we're just going to go with the instruction book right here. Uh, it shows you we're going to start with the, um, the bridge, and we're going to flip her over. And we're going to put the claw back here for the springs along with the bridge, uh, you know, connect the springs with it and all that good stuff there. So let's just get at it. Okay, guys, so we got the bridge on here. Uh, I did have to take a drill and put a, you know, Phillips attachment in here. Some of these were really tight. Uh, I probably should have pre-drilled the holes a little bit bigger. Those were very, very hard to get down in there. I wasn't doing that by hand, that is for sure, but we got her in. So, let's go ahead and flip this over, just like that. And then we're going to put the claw in here. Uh, I think... Where are we putting the claw? Where, 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 what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Okay, so. So, yeah, it has to go that way because that's the way the springs are going to connect uh, to that. That's good there. Let's line that up. Get it started there with the, with the screwdriver. And drive it in. Okay, so we got these screwed in uh, pretty well there. 
Uh, now I gotta go find my pliers. Because <laughs> uh, I was not thinking correctly. Uh, I thought I had a pair of pliers up here. I do not. I will be right back. Ha <laughs> ha. One spring in. <laughs> All right, so we got three springs in here, just like it shows. All good there, and all good on the front. So now let's see what we got to do next. All right, so there we were right there. Let's go ahead and flip this. All right, so we're getting ready to put the bridge on, or the bridge. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to put the, uh, you know, pick guard on with all the goodies. And the only place that I will probably have to do just a touch of solder will be right there on the claw uh, that's ground. So, you know, you actually your plug and everything, like right here, it's all plug and play. So you don't even have to solder that. That's kind of cool. So let's just uh, go ahead and get this faceplate on. Okay, so you want to feed this one side through here because that's your pickup area. This here is your ground, so that'll go. There's a little hole here somewhere. There it is. That'll feed to the back. All right. Now I did when I when I did this earlier because I just tried to test fit everything. Oh, that's going to go down in there now. I was going to say it didn't want to set properly because of the way this, the uh, wiring harness was in there. So what I'm going to do with this being this way, I'm going to go ahead and put some screws um, in there to hold the, the, the pit guard on. That way, you know, when I'm flipping it around, you know, I won't have any of these issues of, you know, things flopping around on me. So... All right, guys, so there we go. Uh, one thing I did not do, <laughs> which maybe I should have, let's take the plastic off before I put the, the uh, screws in there, but uh, that's okay, that's okay, you know. We'll just uh, leave it the way it is. Uh, this here just simply plugs into here. Whichever way that goes, I do believe. Nope, the other way. Nope, which way is it? Ah, there it is, there it is, right there. You can see the connections in there. Slide those two together, that's it. Scratch up the body, right? Okay. So there's that. Uh, then we can kind of like try to shove this back down in to the cavity here. Carefully. We really don't want to mess anything up here. There we go. Ah, there we go. Put a couple of screws in that. I don't think these are the screws you need. Yeah, okay, yep. All right, so we put a couple screws in here. So far, all the holes are lining up really well. That's good. Let's flip this baby on over again. Okay, so this is where we need to, I, I, I always would go like a little bit further back, cut that off, and then come back up here just slightly. Pull that out, okay. Then I will take my soldering gun Yeah, this ain't normally what I would use to do this, but this is what I have, so. And 
Okay, there it is. Okay, he's just fucking Christ, woman, bitch. All right, guys, we got them pretty well down. Uh, I will say, on this back plate, there was a couple of them, the holes weren't actually 100% lined up, but it didn't turn out, oh, it didn't turn out too bad. Uh, so yeah, there's where we're at now. So we ought to be getting close to putting the headstock together. Let's see what we got next here, guys. Ah, let's see what we got next. Okay. All right, we did that. We did that. Oh, well, I forgot the strap buttons already. Let's get them strap buttons on. Personally, if I was doing it myself without looking at the book, I would probably have done the strap buttons last. But, hey, they got it on there to do it now, so we're going to do it now. Uh, so you got the screw for that there. Here's your little rubber spacer so it doesn't crush the wood. And there's that. There's that, and should be another rubber spacer. There it is, another rubber spacer right there. Okay. All right. So, since we already have this one lined up here, go ahead and get this one put in. It's already got a hole right there, we're good to go. And let's just chug away at it, ready? There we go. Oh, <laughs> this is not the okay. There's that one. Went in pretty smooth. Okay, and we've got this one here. Rubber part there. Rubbers. <laughs> rubbers. Gotta have rubbers, guys. Can't can't stress that enough. Can't be too safe anymore. Okay. All right, let's get this one put in. There we go. Got the strap buttons in. Everything looks to be good to go now. You know, you probably would like to maybe see it that way. I don't know. It's looking pretty good so far. Okay, let's see what they got going on after the, um, after the strap buttons. So we just did that. And we are now, all right, we are now ready to put the headstock together, which basically putting the tuning pegs on. So I'll set the body aside, and we'll get the neck up here. Okay, so each one of these will have a washer. And then you put it over top of your, your uh, tuner, just like that. A little couple of hand screws right there. Then I always use this tool here, which is really handy. And just kind of slightly keep it loose a little bit because you got to kind of slide it around to make sure it lines up with the screw hole. That way you can put the screw in there. So I'll do that whole process with the rest of these. Like I said, you got the washer goes over that. And this here will slide down to here. Like so. Put that onto there. A couple of little 
hand movements there. And I use this nice tool. This thing is awesome, man. I'm telling you. It's a, one of the best tools I've ever had. Okay. So then you'll line that up with that screw hole. So there we go. We're, whoop, we're looking pretty good so far. It looks pretty nice, huh? Can't seem to hold it in the right way. But yeah. Okay. So there's that. And then we'll put these screws right inside here. These screws can be kind of finicky because they're very small. But yeah, so we just kind of screw these screws right in. <clears throat> all right, guys, I got the screws all started here. Uh, these are kind of hard to get in. Um, so I'm not going to have you watch me struggle with this. We're going to use the power of the internet to uh, skip all of this. I'll get these in and then... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then we'll come back, okay? Mm. So yeah, I got, I got two of them in. So we'll keep going and I'll finish this up and we'll be right back. Okay, so in classic form, uh, uh, you know, I went to push record here and uh, after I tightened up these screws and it wasn't recording, so <laughs> go figure. Anyway, uh, so I did tighten these screws up. I have one issue with one of the screws here. I uh, went in three quarters of the way and then kind of started stripping slightly. I got her down for the most part. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I went ahead and retightened these up. These are all good and solid here in the front. And when the camera died and I didn't realize, I put the string trees on the uh, guitar here as well. And I didn't realize that uh, for a string tree, just to kind of leave a little bit of a little bit of play in there to where, you know, that way the string has, uh, you know, something. It, it Basically, the string tension will uh, get that tightened up. But yeah, you don't want them super tight, I guess. I never knew that. It's crazy. Okay, so we got the string trees on. I think we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Um, yeah, string trees. And then uh, it looks like we're putting on the neck. We're putting on the neck of, on the uh, guitar here. Yep, and then the four bolts. Then we're going to string this bad boy up. <laughs> All right. Let's get that neck on here. Got my four bolts right here. Um, got my plate. Nice chrome plate right there. That'll be there. Let's get the body. All right, so here's the body. Let's just make sure there's a good solid connection here. Again, with the neck going in since we have this pick bar on here now. Okay. Looks good there. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So, let's go ahead and flip this over. Yeah, and uh, let's try to get these to line up really well. Hopefully everything will go fine. And we'll get there, and it'll all be good. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to take a peek, see where we're at. I think it feels like it's lined up pretty well here. Yeah, it lines up really well. It's already, it's already grabbing hold. I barely even turned it, so that's a good sign. Because uh, sometimes, you know, you got to sit there for a minute and just, you know, hope for the best. But, yeah, it's already tightening up right away. So that's a good sign. It's going right in the hole. So that makes it really nice. This one here. There it goes. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. That one wasn't doing much. But, all right. There's that. There's that. That should go down in there. There it goes. Hey, it went down in. I think it's just that black plastic part that was causing the issue. Okay, so we got those, uh, got the screws in the body there. Man, really looking good here. Looking like a guitar, that is for sure.
Okay, so I just took the plastic off the pick guard. Let's just go ahead and take the plastic off this. Because I know what that's like once you get the strings on. It's just hard to get off there sometimes, and it just seems to be hard to get off there right now. <laughs> that's for sure. Ah, there we go. Got the, got the uh, middle pick up here good to go. I think. There we go. Get this one. Pull that off of there. Then we got the neck one here. Alright guys, so man, it's definitely looking like a guitar. That is for sure. Looks really good. Um, yeah. I think we're just honestly down to putting strings on this. Uh, I will see what gauge of strings I have. I, I, I think I got nines. I should have 1046 over there. I know I bought some 1046. I think I'll put tens on this. Looks like it should be okay. Uh, we'll try it and see what happens. Uh, that that will be my next worry and concern. Uh, let's check this neck first real quick. I do want to check the neck uh, to see where we're standing as far as uh, if the neck is good and straight. And it looks to be the neck is really uh, pretty straight, honestly. Not bad at all. It looks really good. Um, I know you want a little bit of a little bit of tension relief, but but you know when the strings are on air to kind of pull it slightly, not much, but I'm sure it'd be fine for right now. Uh, before I put the strings on here, though, I will uh, go ahead and put some, um, you know, just treat the fretboard, make it nice and pretty. So that way it'll be all good. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Okay, so for this, I'm just using uh, F1 oil from Music Nomad Care. Uh, this is a conditioner slash cleaner. I don't think it's very dirty, but you know, you just need a little bit, very little bit. And just rub it in, man. Just ought to really make it... Uh, Make us a little darker than what it is, but here we go. Just like that, it's all good to go. Nice and clean looking. Uh, really, really riched up that wood a lot. So that's good. Looking really nice. Um, so now, I will go ahead and pick my desired, um, you know, string of choice, which would be Daddario, of course. But uh, I will go find, hopefully, some 1046. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got the strings on here. Um, so one thing that I've noticed I should have did before, and I didn't pay attention to it after I was almost done stringing it. Notice how the uh, saddles, I, I raised the low E and the A string uh, up considerably. The other ones are, they're all the way flat, man. I got to like raise those up, uh, you know, and get my action set. So we'll do the action part here. And then uh, basically, if you've never done this, they give you the, they give you the tool that's supplied or whatever, and you're just basically going to go into this little part here. You take your smallest Allen wrench, and you just raise this up. This is just this is just a whatever guess thing at this point. You're just trying to get the string, um, you know, up or the saddle up because if not, you you got all these little screw parts here. It's going to rip your your hand apart. But uh, yeah, so I got to do that. And then I will go through like the intonation process real quick and we'll get this plugged in and see what it sounds like. All right, let's do it. Okay guys, there it is. This is the Fesley um, Strat, I guess. Uh, DIY kit, man. Turned out really well. I got this done in one day. <laughs> I'm talking like maybe, I'm gonna say a maximum of like four hours. 
maybe five, just due to like, you know, I had to set things up a certain way and different angles and, and uh, you know, I took a break or two here and there. But really, right out of the box, about four or five hours later, you can learn a lot of stuff and um, really get a, a decent little instrument and you're gonna learn some things as you go. That's the cool part. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and test the pickups here. Uh, see what we're playing with here on the bridge. All right, we got the bridge pickup coming in like 4.95, that's pretty light, okay? 4.95 for the bridge. Let's just go middle pickup. Middle pickup, 4.5, 4.5 on the middle pickup. And the neck pickup is 4.67. So what was the bridge again? 4.95, okay. So it'll be interesting to hear this and see what it sounds like. Um, you know, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you have to have you know, a high output humbucker or you know, whatever. These are single coil, okay? I'm not sure, maybe that's an average single coil thing because I, I really don't have many guitars that have single coils in them. Uh, let me know down below, <laughs> you know? Hi, new guy, uh, first day. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't know what an average, I know on humbucker wise, 910 is pretty kind of, it's okay, but you know, you get the higher stuff, it's like t 16. I've seen 16 before, so, and even higher. So it'll be kind of interesting to hear what this sounds like. Let's get this all hooked into the camera and ready to go so we can hear what this sounds like. Oh, wait a minute, ha <laughs> ha, almost forgot the most important thing, because everybody's gonna be like, Dave, wait a minute, hold up. You gotta weigh it. And I do, I gotta weigh it. I gotta weigh it, I just have to. So to be fair, we'll unplug the cord. So I'll give you a couple of ounces there. All right, so we are currently at zero. Let's hang this off of one of the tuners here and get us a reading. Oh, hold it from the top. Ah. And there it is, okay. Kinda, yeah, not bad. Got an eight. 0 0.09, not too bad for weight, honestly, about, about average. Um, neck feels really good, guys, I'm telling you. The neck is amazing. But, anyway, so, let's go ahead and check this out. I'll get it all wired up, and we'll see you back here in just a flash. <laughs> yeah. Gotta put the secret sauce on there, okay? We all know what the secret sauce is, right? Two doses a day, and you're good, right? <laughs> all right, okay. So, here we go. Uh, let's just see what we got on the clean. I got a clean uh, tone on here, and uh, see. Here we go. Bridge pickup. Tell me I had chorus on. Uh, I got chorus on. All right, here's the uh, second position. Middle position, middle pickup. All right, that'd be the neck in the middle. And the top pickup for the neck. and all that stuff. Big difference here between the, uh, oh, it's probably because you got the, okay. Nope. Okay. Yep. Pretty spanky for the uh, bridge. Okay, so to be fair, I did tune this, but I have not done the intonation. 
uh, like I said, I, I set up the saddles quite a bit. Um, there is, that's obviously... Kind of a dead string right there, but... I honestly think it's because that saddle could come up just ever so slightly. Anyway, let's just, uh, let's kick it over to the rock and roll tone and see what it sounds like. <laughs> That's got some good uh, crunch tone. String, string talk. <laughs> to God, uh, I, I know the intonation's up slightly, just because when you get up higher, it kind of goes out after, right in there. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the pickup test with the distortion. I'm not good at that, sorry. <laughs> if you do something like this, but... But uh, this is pretty freaking awesome. You can get it right out of the box, put it together. That's why I opted out for this one that's already finished. That way I don't take time and try to, uh, you know, paint it and stuff. No, I'm not coming up with excuses of the DIY Flying V. We will get to it, do you understand? Hmm, what do I could do with these?
It's a woggle stock. Okay, it's a woggle stock. So we're gonna try this woggle stock here. I will probably say the, I got three springs back here. I'd probably say to take one of those out at least. And I might have that claw tightened up just a bit too tight. May want to undo that because there's not much. I mean, it does do the vibrato thing. But... Uh, it's just a simple adjustment, honestly. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's probably something I would do. Yeah, that's a workout. <laughs> it's a workout with my wheel stick. <laughs> Shut up. But even so, the way it is, uh, you know, hey, if you want it just like th like this with no whammy bar on it, that's fine. You know, you get a nice uh, hardtail bridge. All right, guys, now comes the good news. Uh, this is around 140 bucks if you was just to buy it straight out. Um, <clears throat> they do have a coupon code. I believe it's $10 off right now. And also, uh, I, I, uh, I've i been working with Festly a little bit. They offered me a discount code for you guys. It's another 5% off. So with that coupon code uh, that you would add to that or in the coupon that you also take off, you know, this could probably run you maybe about 120 bucks. It's not that bad. Uh, I'll flash the code up on the screen. It's actually Dave, D-I-Y-F-G. So yeah, if you type that out into the uh, area where it says apply code or whatever, you can get not just this one, but you can pick any DIY from Fessly until April 30th, 2024. Uh, you can get 5% off of any DIY of your choice, man. Go check it out. And thanks to Fessly for offering that up, man. Great stuff. Great guitar, really. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, man. Uh, this was a fun video. Uh, kind of gives you that DIY feel that we're going to do with that Flying V uh, coming up soon. The weather's starting to break. getting pretty nice out. So, yeah, we'll definitely be looking into that. Got a lot of crazy other videos coming. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do. I enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, check it out down below. I'll leave a link for you. Uh, don't forget that code. Save you an extra 5%. Really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to check out my stanger. You know what to do. All right, it's, it's all there. You know, you want to help support what I do, check down below. You got my stanger merch shop. <laughs> all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Hey, got a secret coming up. <laughs> Wait till we hit 5K. It's coming. It's coming. 5K, something, something special might happen, okay? Just laying it out there. <laughs> all right, guys. Rock on. Don't forget, it's all about the music. Later. Love you.